So for this graph, we have taken node one as the starting node, as shown. So node one is our starting node. So if uh, node one is our starting node, so what are the edges connected to node one? What are the edges connected to node one now? It is two, four are the edges connected to node one, yes or no? Now take any other vertex, for example, two. If you are taking two, what are the edges connected to two? You should write all the edges connected to two. So what are the edges connected to two here are? So here node one is also connected to two. So then three, eight, seven, five. So these are the edges connected to two. Yes, I mean. Then three. Take three. What are the edges connected to three more? So just observe the graph and tell me what are the edges connected to three? It is two, nine, ten. Are the edges connected to three? Yes, I mean. So now I take any other vertex, say for example, four. Four for four, what are the edges connected more? So for four, it is one, three. Only one and Three connected to four. Similarly, for five, take five. What are the edges connected to five? So the edges connected to five are two, seven, eight, and six. Two, five. Oh, sorry. Two, seven. Two, seven, eight, and six. Eight and six. These are the nodes connected to five. Then what is the next node? Is six. For six, what are the edges connected? Well, what is connected? So for the six, only five is connected. Yes, or no? Five, what what x five is connected to six. Now for the seven, for seven, what are the uh, what x connected here are five. Okay, two, eight, five to eight, and for eight, for eight, what are the edges connected? No. For eight, what are the edges connected is seven, five, two. Yes or no? It is seven, five, two. Is it clear? Then for nine, for nine, only three connected. So for nine, what is that? We have three, only three is connected. For 10 also, only three is connected. Yes or no? So first step in writing the program is first we have to represent the graph. How do you represent the graph? We have to select any vertex. Say we are taking vertex one. What are the edges connect? Vertex is connected to one. So what are the vertex connected to one? Now two, four. Now take two. What are the vertex? Vertex is connected. Vertex is connected to two. Up one, three, eight, seven, five. Like that. For every node, for every vertex, you have to find out what are the vertex. Uh, vertex is connected. Okay. Like this, we have to represent the graph. That is our first step, okay? Is it clear, students? Okay, is it clear, students? Any doubts here? Then we see the program here. So programs, we are uh, running on Google Collab. Okay, just open Google Collab and uh, log into your Gmail and uh, here we are just writing the programs. So we are writing BFS program. This is the program. See here, students, the same thing we did, did here. So for one, node one, this is node one. What are the vertex connected to node one or two, four? Node two, what are the vertex connected to node two are? We are writing here one, three, five, seven, eight. So in which order you are writing here, the same order you get output. If you change the order here, you will get output also in the same order. Whatever order we are entering, no? the same order we will get output. Okay. Now for node three, we have to write what are the vertex connected. So like that for every vertex, you have to write what are the vertex connected to that corresponding node. Is it clear? So this is your BFS program. We just copy this program and uh, here go to file, select new notebook. So here we get a new, new notebook.
So just paste it here. So first, what is that we did? We have uh, represented a graph. This is the way we have to represent the graph. After representing the graph, what is the word? We are writing visited. So initially visited will be nine. Yes or no? So for example, if you take any particular node, what is the first node to be visited? Here is one, for example. Okay. So when one is the first node to be visited, so we are, this function will be called DFS visited graph one. Okay. So here it is taking the graph of one. What is the graph of one is two, four. Graph of one will have two, four. Okay. Now, so it will check. Whether one is, uh, since uh, one is not in visited, no? so one is not in visited. So first, what we'll do, it will print one, okay. Then one will be appended to the visited. It is a stack, uh, so visited we will be having. No? So one will be uh, appended to the visited. Then I in the graph node. Now we, it will visit what are the nodes of graph. This, what are the nodes we have? Two, four. We have two, four now. Okay. Now it will just call the DFS again here. It will check for the node two. Okay. So node two is not visited. No? Since node two is not visited, uh, node two will be appended to visited. Okay. Now we'll be getting output as two. Okay. Now it will check the graph of two. Now in this graph of two, one is already visited. If one is uh, already visited, then it will not perform, okay? So if it is now, what is next node to be in the graph is three. Three is not visited, no? So it will check all the nodes of that particular graph, okay? So one is already visited, so it will not consider one. So what is the next node we have? Three is not visited. So if three is not visited, it will append in the three. So in the output, we will get three. Okay. Now next, what it will take? It will take graph of three. Now it will come to graph of three. So what is the first node here? Two. Two is already visited. So it will not visit. Uh, it will not append in the visitor. So what is the next node? We have four. Four is not visited. No. So since four is not visited then four will be up and down, okay? So what I told you, I you will get one, two, three, four now, okay? So then it comes to node four, okay? So if you, it comes to node four, here it is one, three is already visited, no? Since one, three is not already visited, it go back to three here, then it will visit next node here. What is the next node it is nine. So it is see here, you get output as one, two, three, four, nine, 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay. So this will continue till all the nodes are visited. So what are nodes we are visiting that we are getting, the, getting in the output, okay. So this DFS is like pre-order. How we do pre-order uh, searching in the tree? It is, DFS is like, like a pre-order traversal or binary tree, okay. So this is the program students. And uh, what is our first step is to represent this graph. First, we have to represent this graph. 